has it ever happened that you had to sacrifice on your development part for creating content or you had that figured out always uh i uh, there has been like a little shift that i've been going through so at the beginning i think it was actually the youtube channel was a thing driving my learning because oh. uh like i i had a set dedicated thing that every i'd release at least one video a week i mean at first it was two times a week and i'm like this is kind of unsustainable so i changed <laughs> to one video a week and like hoping to improve my videos every single time so what i would do is i would pick a topic that i didn't understand at that point and learn it for this week and then create a video for it next week and while i'm learning it i'm creating a video for the previous week so i had like this kind of pipeline structure where i was learning something new every week and teaching people about what i was learning the week after so I think that's kind of, that's what led me to like become a Google developer expert and like kind of learn about Flutter well enough to be, you know, comfortable developing like kind of whatever I desire with it. So I think that at first that, that drove a lot of it, but then I, I kind of got into a little rut. I, I wouldn't say like burnout or anything, but I just wanted to do like I wanted to focus on editing. I wanted to like try some other things, you know, and uh, focus on storytelling and just different parts of YouTube that weren't necessarily developer focused. And then, uh, so that's when I would say I became less, like there was a shift where I was less worried about the development part of it and more worried about creating better YouTube content. Mm -hmm. So at that point, then it definitely like suffered, but it wasn't necessarily because of YouTube that it suffered. It was just uh, something that I wanted to do differently.